Hello everyone, it's Teresa from Teresa Silhouette Spot for all things art, where I love sharing art from my heart. And I do that through art kits, and I love painting some art kits with kids. And we will be doing this shark today. So, let me show you, I'm going to turn my camera around. Let me show you what is in your kit. So, in here, you have your 8x10, and you have your pre-traced design on here. So, you're all ready to start painting. Um, I have put a piece of foil in here. Now, I use these plates to put my paint on, and then I wash them. But I've given you each a piece of foil if you want to use it um, to put your paint on, or you can use your paints right out of the pots. You have all the colors you will need. Gray, a pretty aqua, a little bit of red. There's not a lot of red in this painting. Some white and some green. And then, of course... You have the photo to follow if you want a little reference photo and your two brushes. So I will probably call one the big brush and the little brush or I'll call one the flat brush and the liner brush. Um, so this will be the big one or the flat one. This will be the smaller one or the liner one. Okay, so let me move all this stuff out of my way and we will get started painting. I have put my paint out already on this plate. So, you need um, something to cover the table with, a few paper towels, I have two of them right here, and a cup of water. I use this bin over here, I'll show you in a minute, for washing my brushes out. Um, you could use a plastic cup, a cup from the kitchen, whatever it is that you want, because we will be washing our brushes occasionally. We only have two brushes and five colors. So, let's get started, okay? Put this out of my way, over to the side. Okay, so I'm gonna change my camera again. So, I have my water here. I use this big tub for all my paint brushes. I have my paints ready on this plate. I have my paper towels ready to go. And I have not only one covering, but then two coverings on my table. And here is my pre-traced design. So, um, I am ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint our background, okay? And the background is this pretty blue aqua color. And I'm not going in even, so if you put your paint on the palette or if you keep it in your cup, I'm not dumping my brush right into the pile of paint. So if you use your cup, you're just gonna go in from the side like this on the side of the cup or if you put your paint out on the foil that I've given you, you can just put your brush in the side of it and you wanna get some paint on your brush. Now, what I like to do, so I can pay attention to where I'm painting, is I paint the way I color. And when I color with crayons, the first thing I do is outline, okay? So when we paint or create or do crafts and stuff, I always like to say there's no wrong way, okay? I am just giving you some tips and tricks to help you with your project and your painting, but as far as I know and as far as I think, when you're talking about art and crafts, it can't be wrong. So we are just here to have a little bit of painting fun and have a cool picture to hang on the wall or in our rooms or to show our friends or whatever it is you want to do with it okay so i'm going in between the grass here and if you've noticed i am using the big flat brush right now okay and this is why we use table covering because you see how i'm doing the side here and i'm going off on this i don't care this is just scrap paper so I'm getting nice on the edge of my paper, but it doesn't matter that I get it on my table covering because that is just going to, um, if it's plastic, maybe the grown up you're with can wash it off or whatever you have under there protecting your surface can just go in the garbage. Okay, now don't worry if I go too fast because you guys have the video for this. And I'm sure, like you know, when you have the video for something, you can watch it over and over and over again. 
So if you wanted to paint this again on a different surface or on the back of your, oh, I don't think you can paint on the back of your canvas. I can paint on the back of this because I'm just using this heavy duty cardstock. So if you wanted to paint it again on paper or on a different canvas or on a piece of wood or a shell from the beach, whatever it is, you will have this video and you can go back and paint it yourself. So I am still going in and I'm working my way around the shark, outlining as I go. Sometimes I use the brush up on the tip and sometimes I use it on the flat. It doesn't matter, whatever you're comfortable with doing the background. And then I'm just stroking. Don't worry if you don't get, I don't know if you can see, but see some of my spots here? Don't worry if it's not perfect and fully covered. The shark is underwater and the fact that the paint is lighter in some spots and darker in some spots is perfect because it gives your picture a little bit more character and a little bit more, um, as we say, dimension. So it's okay if you have different variations in your blue and even when we get to the shark's body in the gray. It's all okay. We want everything to be a variety of colors, not just one color. Even though we are just using one color paint, it's looking like different colored paint because some places it's heavier and some places it's lighter. Don't worry if you go over some of the grasses or if you go over the shark a little bit, it doesn't have to be perfect. We, we go back in and we do our grass and our shark. We're going to fix all that. That's why we do our background first. Okay. And this way it gives our background a little bit of time to dry as well. So this way when we go back in with our gray and our green for the grass and our water bubbles on the water, we'll be able to see them because our blue is dry and we'll be using a different color paint and it'll go right over it. Okay? So, if again, if I'm going too fast and you're watching the recording, just have it, put it on pause, catch up, get to your background, finished, and then come back. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I have so far. This is my background. See, it has all different, um, the blue is darker in some places. You can see some of the strokes. That's okay, it lets it look like water a little bit. And my grasses aren't perfect. Still okay, because we're gonna go back in there with the green to do our grass. We're gonna put our little bubbles in there. And when you're doing a project like this, it's really important to wait until the end because when we start adding all the little details and the shark's eyes and his big white teeth, you'll see all of a sudden you're gonna be like, wow, look, I painted that. Okay, so let me put you back down again. And I am going to wash my brush. So I'm, if you can see, I'm just swishing my brush in my bucket over here, and you guys have a cup. And then I'm going to take it, and I'm gonna put it in the paper towel and squeeze out the water. It's almost like making a sandwich in there. I'm just gonna squeeze out the water because you want your brush to be dry. It's okay that you're getting the blue on the paper towel. Your brush is clean when that happens, so that's great, okay? So I think we will do our shark next. So I'm gonna pick up the gray again, and like I said, I'm not going right into the pile of the paint. I'm just pulling it out from the side here, and I'm flipping my brush over because I wanna get the bristles nice and full of paint. So I'm gonna one side, and then I flip it, and then I go to the other side. Okay, and again, even though we already did the blue, I'm going to outline. I'm gonna go around and follow the line and outline my shark's body. Okay. And you'll see at the end, it's okay that we're 
painting his fins here because when we're all done, we're gonna go back in and we're gonna add some little black highlights. We're going to add the white bubbles and you'll be able to see where his big back fin is and where his bottom fin is. Who knows what the fin of a shark is called? I believe, and I could be wrong, but I believe the top fin on the back of a shark is called the dorsal fin. So don't worry if you paint over the eyes. I am going to carefully try and go around my eyes, but that's gonna be hard. It's even hard for me and I've been painting for quite some time. So it's okay if you get some of the gray over the eyes because we can just go back in there. After our gray is all dry, we will go back in there and fix it all up with our white. That's why we do things in a certain order because if our, um, one second, if our gray goes on top, then where we went outside the line with our blue a little bit, it's okay because then we fix that. And the same thing. So now we do our gray shark. And if we go over the lines for our eyes a little bit, it's okay because when we go back in with the white, we will fix that. Okay. Now when I paint too, I try and do all my brush strokes in the same direction. Okay. So this fin I'm brushing down, this fin I'm brushing up, this fin I'm going to brush up. This because even though it's all the same color and the same um, brush, as you can tell with the water, you can see the difference in the brush strokes. So when you paint it all in the same direction, you can tell where the tail is and the one fin and the other fin go because of the way the paint goes. And the same thing with his nose. So I went in and I did one coat and now I'm just going back in and I'm fixing my brush strokes and I'm making them go around his eyes. You'll probably need two coats of the gray as well. Sometimes colors, um, different colors don't co cover as well as other colors. We got really good coverage with the blue, but the gray will be a little bit different because it's not as dark. So I'm just gonna fix his eyes there. And this whole time for the shark and our um, background, we're using the large brush, or like I said, the flat brush. So, this is what we have. So we've done the background and our shark's body. So if you're not there yet, you can just hit pause and catch up and then come back to the video to get on to the next part, okay? So I'm washing my brush again, but this time I'm gonna leave my brush in the water because we're going to get our um, smaller brush, okay? I'm gonna use this liner brush that I have. So the first thing we want to do is I think we're gonna do our red. So I'm going to go into the side of my red again even though it's a flat brush, I'm still going into the side. I'm not just putting my whole brush in the pile of paint. I'm going into the side. And we're going to paint the insides of the eyes. As carefully as you can. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And it's art, art can't be wrong. What you like, maybe somebody else doesn't really like, and what somebody else likes, you might like something different. 
So, and then again, as you can see, I'm outlining these big shark teeth so I can go in and fill in with my red in between all of my shark teeth. Now I will say one very, very important tip when you are painting with red and white is to make sure they're dry. You want your red paint or your white paint to be as very dry as possible or you're going to end up with pink. And we don't want our shark to have pink eyes. Well, maybe you do. You could have your shark have pink eyes. Um, but I want my shark's eyes to be red in the middle. So I am going to carefully paint in the inside of my shark's mouth and then wait for it to dry before I go back in with the white. And while I'm waiting for it to dry, and because we'll be switching to white, we are going to move on to our grass and our bubbles, okay? While we wait for this to dry. That's why I hop around a lot. So we move from one spot to the next because at this point we want, we did our background, we did our shark, and now we want our red mouth and our eyes to dry before we go back in and around with the white. Okay, so I'm going to wa wash that brush and then I'm going to go back to the first brush that we had, the big brush. Okay, so I'm sandwiching it in my paper towels. I say okay a lot, don't I? Okay, okay. So I'm sandwiching in the paper towels and now I'm going to go into my green. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do the green, okay? It might be a little tricky for you, so I'll show you two different ways we can do the green. So our grass, I'm going to draw one for you. Our grass looks like this, for the most part. We have different shapes and sizes, but for the most part, that's how it looks. So you can go in here and you can fill it in if you want. And just keep filling it in and filling it in. Or you can try this. You can hold your brush up and push it down and keep it flat and then turn it. Oh, ran out of paint. You can keep it flat and then turn it up to a point. Okay? So I will do them both ways as well. So this first one, I'm going to start out flat and standing up. Okay? I'm going to push it down. And then I'm going to twist it up. Okay, This is a little one off the side, so we're just going to go in here and fill this one in. Again, I'm going to stand my brush up. I'm going to push and twist. I'm going to stand it up here and overlap a little bit and push and twist. And then this is a skinny one, so I'm just going to push it up like that. Okay, and then this one, I'm just gonna stand it up and push and turn my brush, and then I'm gonna add these two little ones. And when I add the little ones, I'm standing my brush up and just pushing out like that, okay? If you want to stay with your little brush to do the grass and fill them all in, you can do that too. Okay, I'm just showing you guys a different way to do certain things. And again, our green needs two coats. And that's okay. And you'll see, you guys, I'm always, always turning my project around because I want to get the best position I can for painting. Okay, and so now we have our grass, and I'm just going to go in and add a second coat to this as well. Make it a little bit darker in here. What do you guys think so far? Cute. 
I hope you guys um, share your paintings when you're all done. Okay. I'm washing my brush again. And I think I'm going to go back to the small brush for the white. Especially for the teeth. Maybe we'll do both. Okay. So I have my small brush. I'm drawing it out. Again, I'm just sandwiching it in here and drying it out. And I'm going to pick up the white because I think, yeah, my red is dry. If your red isn't dry, you might want to put on pause and come back until your um, red dries, okay? But my red is dry, so I am going in. And you might be saying, why do we need to do white? The paper's white. Well, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I do. I think it looks better. Plus, if when you painted your shark, you went over the lines a little bit, when you do the teeth in here, you can fix that. I did go over my lines a little bit. So adding the white on top fixes that a little bit. And I'm just painting in these little triangles. Because basically that's what shark's teeth are. They're little triangles. Okay. Then while we're doing this, I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the bubbles. And the bubbles are just swirly circles that don't have to be perfect. And they just swirl around a couple times with your little brush, making some circles. They're not perfect. Some are bigger. Some are smaller. See that? I'm going to put one up here. And you can put as many or as few as you want. Okay. And while I have my white out and I'm using this brush, I'm going to go back in to my gray and fix my finish my eyes. So I'm going around the red. And around the gray where I might have gone over the line a little bit. Oh, watch that one. And again, when I paint, I always try to outline first. This way, it kind of tells me and I can see where I need to keep that color, where I'm going to paint that color. Kind of helps me stay where I need to be with that pink color at the time. So now we have our eyes. What do you guys think? Cute, right? So now, oh, I'm going to go in with a little bit of black. You guys have black too. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. And we're going to outline our shark. Okay? So we're going to outline our grass. We're using our little brush. And the outline does not have to be perfect this time. It's more of like a highlight. It's just adding details to our picture. Okay. And then we're going to take our brush and go around our shark too. Okay. All around 
around and see I'm not twisting and turning. I am going in and turning my project as I go around. I'm not twisting and turning my arms and my body. And then we're going to go around the eyes. And last but not least, I'm going to take the back of my brush, this pointy wooden part here. I'm going to dip it in my black and I'm going to put one dot and two dots, wipe it off, and then I'm going to dip it in the white and I'm going to put one dot and two dot, and then I'm going to wipe it off. And then before we finish, I like to put my initials on the bottom. Okay? And there it is. There is our little shark under the water with the bubbles and the grass. So, I hope you liked painting this and you get to share it with other people. And um, I will see you again next time. Oh, look, I got paint on me. It's, oh, here it is. It's okay. So if you have paint on you too, it's okay. It all comes off with soap and water. Okay? So thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little art lesson. And um, I will see you soon.